Today we'll be upgrading the storage of the 2021 Acer Nitro 5. If you guys saw my unboxing and first impression, you'll know this laptop only came with 256 gigs of storage. Now that's not enough for gaming, so I'm gonna add a one terabyte hard drive. For the installation, we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, of course, a one terabyte hard drive. And in the box, there was a part specifically for upgrading the storage. You wanna find this and get this nearby because we're gonna need this to install that hard drive. If you find this content helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Let's get into the upgrade process. So before upgrading, you wanna power the laptop off completely. You don't wanna put it to sleep, you wanna shut that down. Now you want to spread something to prevent the laptop from being scratched. I'm going to put that face down. There are 10 screws around the edge of the laptop and there's one in the middle. We're going to remove all these screws, keeping them nearby to get into the bottom of the laptop. So let's start with that process. You can start with any screw. I'm going to start with the ones at the bottom as that's closer to me. So as I open the screws, you're going to see I'm placing them right next to where they came out. This helps me remember where I took it out from. A lot of times some of these screws are shorter and longer than others. So keeping them near where you remove them helps place the screws at the right place when you're reinstalling them. Now that we've got all the screws out, we're going to start at any corner and start prying the base of the laptop open. Just be very careful as you're opening this up. There may be cables attached to the bottom of the laptop that you don't want to tear. So as you're going, be very gentle as you remove the base from the bottom of the laptop. So here we have the Wi-Fi card. We have the Kingston drive, the 256 gig storage. This is upgradable. As you guys can see, we can remove this and upgrade it. We have that single stick of RAM. If we wanted to upgrade the RAM, we'll place another right here. Here are those cooling fans. Here we have the speakers on the lower left and right. And here's that vacant hard drive bay. Here's the battery. It seems like it's two batteries connected. At the very center, there seems to be some sort of gap, but it does seem firm on each side. So I'm not sure what they did in, in regards to the design of the battery, but it does not seem like one solid unit. So the battery is a 55 watt hour battery. There were also a pack of hard drive screws. You want to grab that now to get the hard drive installed into the mounting bracket. First, we're going to have to remove the mounting bracket install the hard drive into the mounting bracket and then reinstall the hard drive and the mounting bracket into the laptop. So let's get started on that. Let's just grab this. So we're gonna place the hard drive into the cage. The cage is a lot weaker than I thought. In my other gaming laptops, they're always usually solid metal cages. This is the first time I've seen a case like this. It's like some sort of plastic material with a metal coating around it. Now that we've got the laptop hard drive installed to the cage, we're gonna install that ribbon cable. So this is where you plug that in, at this very small port here. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that better. This is where you wanna plug that in. There's a little flap that you lift up. You're going to want to install the ribbon cable with the pins facing down. Pretty easy. Now we're going to connect this to the drive. Okay, so we've got the drive installed. All we need to do now is install the bottom panel, add those screws back in place and we'll be all set.
we may need to initialize the drive. Let's take a look at um, Windows File Explorer. The drive shows up without initializing. Interesting. There it is, guys. One terabyte installed. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to upgrade the storage of the Acer Nitro 5. Again, if you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and get subscribed to the channel for more helpful content. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.